Hey guys, what is going on? Today I wanted to show you an in-depth review of my most recent sneaker pickup, and it is the Adidas Alpha Bounce in this black, white, and gray colorway. Uh, these retail at $100. Picked these up off of Finish Line last week for roughly $65 something dollars. So, decent price for these. Um, first thing I want to address is a lot of people that have these are reviewing these as an alternative to the Ultra Boost which um, if you can find something similar to the Ultra Boost um, within regarding comfort for less than $100 I recommend it. This isn't on the same level of comfort as the Ultra Boost and that's mainly because this cushioning, this midsole here this isn't really anything special, this is just a foam midsole so it's a very comfortable shoe, don't get me wrong, very cozy, but if we're going to compare this to the Ultra Boost, it's just not in the same uh, realm, I guess, of comfort as the Ultra Boost. However, with that being said, it does have some similarities to the Ultra Boost, uh, the extreme level of comfort not being one of them. One of the similarities is sort of here the traction pattern on the bottom, as you can see it has these little circles that jut out of the bottom. This is similar to the Ultra Boost, the newer Ultra Boost models. Um, of course with the Ultra Boost you would have the boost um, being visible underneath. This is just an all black outsole. Another similarity is that if you notice the shape of the shoe and I could completely untie these and I actually have an unlaced uh, shoe just to show you what that looks like um, but it keep the shoe keeps its shape very well just like if you have an ultra boost I know my pair of ultra boost never the shape never changes it never doesn't really crease in the toe box or anything this shape has been has been the same the whole time I've had the shoe and I've worn the worn these once today for probably five or six hours and the shape as you can see here this is what it looked like when I first took them out of the box and it's what they look like now and I think part of this is being these sort of uh, I don't know if this is just a style or a design feature but these little bars here they it kinda makes sense that they are there to keep the shape of the shoe because they go all the way around the shoe um, and the midsole kinda has that too but the midsole doesn't need to keep its shape, but I feel like this kind of operates as something in the shoe that kind of looks cool, I guess. I mean, I would, yeah, I guess I kind of like it, um, but it keeps the shape of the shoe. So I just thought that was interesting. Uh, with this colorway, specifically 3M, the only place you're going to find that is on the tongue here. you got the three stripes and on the Adidas logo by the heel um, and on the heel tab. This logo, this bounce logo on the inside, I can't tell if that's 3M or not. I can't tell if it's just, because that's like a white logo already, so I don't know if it's just my eyes like trying to trick myself into thinking that that's 3M, but I don't think it is. Because why would there be 3M on the uh, insole. That just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but features of the shoe here, we have this cloth, like, it's a very dense material, not super dense, but it'll keep your feet warm-ish. It's not, um, it's not a great alternative to, like, a boot or something that's going to keep your foot super warm in the winter, um, but it's definitely not as thin as maybe a fly knit or a prime knit or, uh, other shoe materials. Uh, black laces and then throughout, and let me grab the other shoe here, we have first of all you can see that it's, this is just all one piece. Um, another similarity to the Ultra Boost. It's just all one piece. So really you could probably wear these without the laces but that kinda looks weird because then you just have these holes here with nothing going in them and that kinda looks weird but throughout the shoe here under this material you have this sort of 
not necessarily an elephant pattern, but it's an interesting pattern, I guess. Um, not really sure what it's supposed to be, but you have that all throughout there and then around the back collar. And then the last feature of the shoe that I want to get into is this sort of heel cup here. And I don't know, I feel like this is more of a lifestyle shoe. This is more of a comfort shoe rather than something that you're going to want to really run in. This might be a gym shoe for some, but it has this plastic heel cup on the back with the Alpha Bounce logo. Overall, my thoughts on the shoe are if you can get this shoe, I'd say retail price is pretty good for these. I mean, only 100 for a shoe these days, an Adidas shoe, a great shoe these days, is a good price. Um, if you can find these on sale, which I'm sure you can, that's, I mean, anything on sale is always recommended. Um, but you can definitely find these on sale anywhere. And they're in stock at a lot of places, Finish Line, Foot Locker, uh, wherever. Is it as good as the Ultra Boost comfort-wise? No. Is it a very, is it worth the money you pay? Absolutely. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>